Hey guys, I'm back and this is episode 9 of my Let's Play series and I have a new microphone today, thank God, because um, my other microphone was pretty stuffed. Uh, hopefully I'm coming through nice and clear. Um, today what we're going to be doing is um, covering up some of the redstone and finishing off the potato tower. It project needs to be finished off finally. Um, off camera I've made some adjustments to the main base. Um, I've made a, oh, I've forgotten what these things are called, a big metal thing. Let's just call it that, big metal thing that repairs stuff. Okay, so what I've done is moved the enchanting stuff, uh, well, enchanting table that was out there into its own little room, which, you know, I don't know, I'll turn into something nice later on. It just, really it is just a, a little room at the moment. Um, also, we'll put in some, I don't know, a bedroom or you know stuff like that later on also I have added some chest to the uh, the storage room as you can see well, it's looking fantastic so um, what we need to do actually is uh, throw some dirt blocks in here for now and I actually need to clear out some of my inventory before we go to work so just clear some of this out that we don't need Brown wall, coal, we'll keep the stake, we don't need the gravel, keep the wood, keep the torches, we need to pick up more torches actually, actually, no, we'll keep the, the axe and the sword, just in case, don't know what sort of problems we're going to get into out there, um, also, I started digging my gigantic mine shaft hole, now, in the middle is obviously where the old... Uh, ladder, ladder went down, but that's obviously been moved. Now a lot of people are going to question, Data, why the hell are you digging a giant hole? I like to dig, and I like to have giant mine shaft entrance. So, picture this. When this is done, all the walls will be properly done, not just, you know, patches of dirt and cobblestone and stuff I mine out. It's going to be, you know, one brick or something. And in the middle, we're going to have like a lava tube go down for natural light. And around the sides, we're going to have the railway network that goes all the way around and all the way down. Alright? So I started digging that. I do that in my free time, obviously. Also, the entrance to the the, the garden upstairs, well, you know, the little little thing we've been getting potatoes and such from, is still here. Got to do something with this eventually. But, what, what, um... Yeah, no, what I've done is dug a bit of this mountain out here. Um, I needed the dirt. There was a big pile of dirt here, so I needed the dirt. I took that out for the potato tower. We can just see the potato tower through here. We'll, we'll figure something out to do up here later on. Just growing some sugar cane, um, you know, for the bookshelves and such. We'll probably make a gigantic sugar cane farm in the future. Something monsterish. So let's head back down and uh, start preparing for the, so we can get to some work, get to work. Just got to watch out for this hole, I'd hate to fall down and die, that would suck. I've actually almost used all my enchant, my enchanted pickaxe up, um, yeah. Okay, so what do we need, we need wood, oh, uh, ah. Okay, so grab this wood, we need some Oh, it's raining outside. We need to make some stairs. Lots and lots of stairs. Mm -hmm. Um, that that will do. No more stairs. We don't need more stairs. We need some cobblestone stairs. We're going to give a little bit of um. I'm going to hide the redstone with stairs and a bit of color. Now you know you could do this a lot differently because once this project is done, this world save will go up for people to download and then they can decorate it themselves but I'm just gonna do a plain decoration nothing fancy just put hide some of that redstone that people will complain about eventually so we got some stairs uh, we're gonna need a bunch of torches I think I already got torches uh, yes I do because we need to light up the tower now later on in the future we'll glowstone we could do something oh man I hate that you can't sleep either to get rid of it. That's a pain in the bum. Alright. Well, let's just hopefully you guys can hear me over the damn rain. 
This is just gonna ruin the video. So, go away, sheep. Ouch. Stupid skeleton. Really good to watch out. Watch my back a bit more. As you can see, the entire structure is now planted and ready for its big day. So what I'm going to do is get one of these stairs out. Place that. Alright, we're going to need that, not the shovel. Um, and cobblestone stairs will do too. And just, oh, well, we've got cobblestone there, that's great. So what we're going to do to hide the redstone, as you can see here, I've got like just cobblestone covering the piston and such. We'll do this side first, but I hope this rain is not wrecking the video, so I apologise in advance if this is screwing up my video. So let's go up to our work site. One down. Get rid of this. Get one down again. And we're going to use stairs. No. no. We'll use cobblestone, then stairs. My bad. Let's do that. Stupid me. Oh. And that's what we're going to do on the entire structure. And it's going to take a little while, yes. And we're going to need a lot of scaffolding. It's, I don't know, cobblestone and wood. Goes together, I suppose. As I said, subject to change in the future. Now, at the moment, just a little bit more colour to this would be fine. Well, for me, it's fine. For other people, obviously, no. Okay, and we had a torch. We had another torch. Jump. There we go. And then we keep... We mine this out. Okay, we keep going up. Up, 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 up. More, more. So, now we just cover the redstone up again. I'm going to rinse and repeat this. And see how it looks, you know. And hopefully it's okay. Ugh, oh no, it's getting dark. Ooh, no. Alright, well, what I'll do... Oh, well, I'm not P. I, I don't think I can get hit, so... From any nasties. Any nasties. Alright, and we had another torch. I think it was this row, wasn't it? I don't know. Oh, no, definitely wasn't that row. It was this row. Jump. And we keep going up. I'm going to keep repeating this and repeat this all the way up. It's going to be a bit of a pain, but I'll get there eventually. Ha oh, ha, Enderman. Having fun. The weather's lovely, isn't it? Alright. Keep going up. Well, hopefully I don't fall off. Alright. Keep going up. 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 As you can see, everything's fully grown finally. Been waiting ages. Probably shoot the next video. The next video will be the actual testing I am praying that this sucker will get at least at least an entire inventory full that's what I'm hoping for anyway that's what I'm hoping for this I know it's not like if I wanted to do like an efi efficient sort of build you know you'd stack them on top of each other and everything would work out way better you could have way more stacks but I figured you know this like spiral pattern I tried. I tried. Tried something new. Now, I don't know if it'll work out, because I know for a fact getting from the top to the bottom almost takes exactly five minutes, so we might actually not get all the loot from this damn tower, because it just takes too long to get to the bottom. Um, I'm going to eventually run out of cobblestone, but I'm hoping on the way down we get it all the cobblestone back. Actually, we've got to put the torches in. We need to light this sucker up. And we've got to do this on every single one. It's going to take a little while, so... I'll pause the camera and I'll get this side done and we'll see how it looks. Okay, guys, I'm back. And, um... That's what it looks like with the, with the wood on the side. I don't know. It doesn't look 
as good as I suspected, but um, he'll do, he'll do. I just thought it would just add a little bit more to it. And the torches will make it glow at night time, so that's good. No, in future when we get some glowstone, we will come back and decorate this thing. But for now, I think I'm not taking all this wood back off. No way. So for now, I'm going to do the, exactly the same thing with all four corners. As you can see, it's not done on here. So I'm going to do it all of them. But I'm going to run out of stairs. And for the and I've. I've still got to um, make this path too wide because it only goes up a little while and then goes back to one wide. Oh, got lots to do, lots to do. And also here on this bit here, I'll also just add some cobblestone stairs. There we go. That looks a bit better. And we can probably do it here as well to hide that redstone torch. Like that. There we go. We can do that. It's pretty simple. Actually, I'll take that cobblestone back. Thank you. So, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to get back to work and finish off doing the rest of it with wood. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, She's pretty much done, as you can see. She's lit up like a Christmas tree, which is fantastic. I'll, I'll go out the door just so you can see properly. So I'm going to sleep in the bed and yeah. So it's all lit up. I did all four corners with the, the upside down stairs. Mm, it looks okay. It looks okay. can be improved a lot more. But um, that's later on down the track. So I think what should we do is sleep and then I'll run over there. Z, 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 z. Awesome. Wait for some of these zombies and stuff to burn so we don't get mushed. Yeah, my pickaxe broke, so I was reduced to a stone pickaxe while I was down there, which really sucked. Alright, let's go. Let's make a break for it. Get sold out just in case. So, yeah, it doesn't look too, too bad. Quite like it. Um, I also finished off the stairs in the middle, like um, the double stairs going all the way up to the top. Finished that as well. I did some more tree chopping. See, I chopped all those trees down and I went over there and chopped all those trees down. So, if we can look up the center, it is double stared all the way to the top. As I said, you could probably put a railway system to get you to the top really quick. Maybe even, I'm thinking. You know, in the future, what you could do is put a glass center all the way up the thi this thing. And then you could just run lava down for natural light. You could do something like that. Mm, something. Don't know. We'll, we'll wait and see what people comment about it. And Yeah. So, as I said, stair double stairs all the way up the top. Everything is planted 100%. Even put torches everywhere. Torches are pretty much everywhere. So, make sure it's lit up. And it is fantastic. So, yeah, the only thing I have left, I think, is I'm pretty sure I haven't put a cover on the top one yet. Oh, I know, I know, I know, but when we get up there, it's a long walk, as I said, it's about 150 blocks tall. Up, up we go. I think it was something up there, do I? We're almost up the top. Almost there. Now you can make it even better and put like um, wood railings along the side here so you can definitely not fall off. Okay, we are up the top and let's have a look straight down the center. See, double stairs all the way down. Don't fall, whatever you do. And yeah, very, very high. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, what was I going to check? Oh, yes. I was going to check if this last one underneath us has a bottom to it yet. No, it doesn't. Redstone is not hidden. This is not hidden. So, let's get that nailed out of the way. I have enough. Oh, I have just crappy pickaxes. Okay. Jump. 
Okay, okay. So, yeah, we get rid of that one. Wow. Wow. Completely wrong things, to, tools to use in this situation. Pickaxe is fine. I think, actually, we're going to bring it down some. I should be an expert at doing this. Far out how many bottoms I've put on all these structure. So we just want to hide all the redstone. That's that's all I'm trying to do. Oh, I really need a diamond pickaxe. I just quickly threw together a stone one because yeah, when I was um building the bellies for these things, um the I just not the bellies, I meant the freaking the uh the wooden stairs on the side. Um I was building them and yeah, I ran out of um Ran out of cobblestone. I ran out of ran out of a pick. Anyway, I ran out of the pick on the way down, and I had to get off and just quickly make a crafting table with the wood I had. And then from there, I just used a stone pick, and yeah, uh, there we go. It's coming along well. Oh, get rid of some of these just in case, so we don't have to get to them later. Okay, more, more. Okay, so the back end of this needs to be done. Whoop, get that one. Ah, oh, fantastic. All right, and that is easy. That's the last thing. Now all I gotta do is put a floor in on the bottom and um, shoot the normal video because a lot of people, half the people I'm pretty sure won't be watching these let's plays, only true dedicated fans will be, so I have to shoot the regular video, which will probably be my next thing I've got to do, is shoot the regular video and give people a, a test run for it, oh I miss those two, bugger, oh well, not oh well, that's gonna bother me, going back up. There. Awesome. Um, I don't want to break these potatoes like that. There we go. Awesome. Okay. I think we're going to call it in this episode. And um, I think tomorrow I may shoot the actual Minecraft potato tower video with the test run. Just thought I heard a zombie. I hear a spider somewhere. Well, as long as no one blows up up here, eh? <laughs> that would be extremely bad. I think uh, the spiders are spawning inside these little dark little cells. Really, I should have lit them up. Oh, well. Future thing we can take care of. Anyway, guys. Um, thanks for watching episode 9. And um, I'll catch you all in the next video.